Hey guys, I'm going to be playing any console that you have ever owned on your computer. If you uh, have a HDMI out or component or AV cables or anything like that, Xbox allows me to do HDMI so we'll be just going straight HDMI into the capture card which is a black magic intensity extreme external as you can see Xbox on the retina display only cord coming out is the Thunderbolt cord you can hear me in the background saying Xbox stop listening just to prove that the Xbox is on there and it runs just as good as it would if you were just watching on your telly no lag runs really really well so now I'll, if you want everyone can do their own YouTube channel because you can just capture what's on the screen everyone can capture their own screen on the computer yeah, QuickTime does that new screen recording or whatever look it runs perfect Testing out the frequency of the horn there. This is the first time I played it. it was yesterday. I just tried it out. I had to get the GoPro and have a, and have a record it. Pity it was uh, hardcore. I never play hardcore. It seems just like a game for snipers and no one find out where they are. Couple of little heat from behind there. Lob a grenade, see another grenade come in, do the dash. Teabag. That was the guy that was after me before. I had to move over. <laughs> was teabagging in the wrong area. Oh, oh, there you are. Hang on. Let me come over and teabag you there. Ah, oh, yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah, so that's it. That's our run. How good is that? Perfect. You take a camp and now just take your Xbox. Take your laptop. You got your hotspot, your phone. Portable Xbox. No need for TVs. <laughs> yeah, the retina display looks good on the retina display. So after this I'll put it on that iMac there so we can go through the whole install. You can you, the sound comes through on the laptop, you don't need the headset, but you know, you get the quality sound through the headset. So you want to put your Xbox to 720, which doesn't make any difference at all. So this is the sh suit they give you, the suite they give you, the software, the Media Express. When you purchase the uh, capture card. You got to download those later, those codecs. So you want to have it on 5994, 720. You could probably have it on about 30 frames a second, maybe on 1080. I haven't really tried that, but 720 seems to always work. It worked on the PS3, the 59.94. Yeah, so just follow what I do here. It's easy. Sometimes you might have a bit of drama getting it on. Just unplug the HDMI cord and uh, restart this Media Express and this is how I usually just capture normally 
uh, HDMI and just run this in the background but um, I always knew it played well on this little screen but you're not going to play this you know you're not going to look at this screen and play it Battlefield because there's no sound it only pops up on that little equalizer down the bottom but when you run this other program I'll show you in a second which is what I stumbled across yesterday morning I couldn't believe it when I started playing it I was like, this is awesome. Little update there, Battlefield. So I usually run HDMI into the capture card, HDMI out back to the telly. Now you don't even need it if you're going to take it with your portable. It's just, all you need is just HDMI in from the Xbox. And the um, Thunderbolt straight to the Mac or PC. The scope box. I'll put the link in the description down below. They sent me a trial code, but you don't you don't need the code. Well, I you didn't need the code when I did it. I was I had the code there to enter it in, but I just had to play around with it and deleted all these other boxes they give you. And um, managed to get the capture the preview at full screen which was this is all you need and the sound works so yeah add new live source intensity extreme picks it up knows it's there and then you just move all these boxes out of the way change that to 59 and look there it is it's the same setting that you had on the output on the settings for the extreme and so you close all these hide 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 toggle full screen Oh, get rid of that palette thing. <laughs> Even I can't do it. Hide everything, hide it, hide it. Let me see the screen. Okay, buddy, we'll sort it out, will you? Fast forward. I can hear it, I can hear it in the background. So there's your full screen. Look at that, you can even have a little wide screen there now if you want. Volume, perfect. It's all perfect, guys. Anyway, thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you hit that subscribe. <laughs>